everyone this is Satya Prakash welcome to my channel this is part 19 of sp.net web api in this video i will discuss how to consume web api using sp.net mbc and http client to get the data so before going through this part 19 please visit my part 7 and 8 of sp.net web api that is how to set up sql server and entity framework in part 7 and how to retrieve data in sp.net web api using sql server and entity framework using part 8 so as per the video this uh, this uh, video is uh, related to get method so this part 8 is relevant to the part 19 so please visit these two videos so in this session we will discuss few points that is how to create sp.net mbc project and add employee model class file and add a microsoft.spnet.webapi.client and from NuGet library and uh, how, what are the code for consuming the web api and run the project and call action method on url so uh, guys i have uh, opened two instance of uh, visual studio this first instance is for web api which is which you already known about it in my videos uh, and the second instance of Visual Studio that is for MVC project where we need to consume the web API so I already have created the sp.net MVC project that is MVC consume web API and uh, next step is we need to create a class file under model folder so I already have created I will uh, show you what are the steps so right click on it click on add and new item and select here class and uh, you, you should mention any any of your choice the class name and click add so as i already have created no need to create again so my class name is that is employee view model it is for view um, it is for view purpose and uh, what i this you can see under class employee view model i have declared few property names though this property name should be same as the response what we have got in my uh, web api response here so see uh, in my get method of web api we have few response that is the contents properties id first name last name gender and salary right so same way we need to create the properties with same name in our class file so i already have created this class file and under we have declared these variables or properties that is id first name last name gender and salary <coughs> and after creating this class file we need to implement this class file in our uh, home controller right so i expand this home controller <coughs> i select this home controller here and uh, you can see to access this uh, property of employee view model class we need to add this namespace so here i had i have added the namespace that is using mbc consume web api dot models right and uh, step number three is we need to add the <coughs> reference of that is the library using new get package so that is the microsoft.aspnet.webapi.client so this is for access the http client base class so how to add so right click on it uh, select the manage new get package <coughs> and uh, you should you should select here as microsoft uh, you can see uh, the pop-up here coming the selection is coming automatically so select this one right and select this one as i already have installed so no need to install again so if you first time install then it will uh, showing as the install this uh this package so this is the 5.2.9 so this package are supports for formatting and content negotiation to system.net.http right so this is required for the http client class library cli cli uh, http client class to implement in our mbc to consume the web api so next step is <coughs> in our home controller we need to add one 
another action result method that is get employee right and inside get employee i have added that that is uh, this course this is required for consuming the uh, web api in our mbc project and i will discuss e step by step of each line <coughs> <coughs> so here that is the mem variable member we have declared which uh, return type is i enumerable of employee view model class file and uh, you can see we have uh, instance created the http client class so this http client class provides a base class for sending or receiving the http request or response from a url and this is the line of this class is base address new uri uri not nothing but the web api uri which we have got here right that is the url that is the get method uri of get method so up to api we have mentioned in our in our base address right and uh, that is called employee default get all records and get async to send a get request so inside i we have declared a variable response task and client dot get async this is the method is very important inside we have implement we have uh, mentioned that employee so employee is nothing but it is the part of a employee controller in our web api so you can see when we uh, send a request for get request and uh, this employee is nothing but a controller right <coughs> so up to this we have mentioned inside the base address and we have mentioned this employee endpoint inside the get async method <coughs> and inside and after then we have uh, response task dot wait and uh, we need to store the result of web api response inside the result variable that is a response task task dot result <coughs> and uh, here i need to discuss one more point is uh, to access this http client class we need to mention one namespace that is using system dot system dot net dot http that is the this one and this is coming from that library which we have installed that is microsoft dot spnet dot web api dot client so you can see in under response under references folder you can see that uh, dll file system.net.http after then we can access this namespace and we can implement that http client base class right and uh, <coughs> so this is uh, how to uh, up to up to this we have uh, get the result uh, to store the result of web api response and uh, how to read so we have mentioned two conditions inside if statement uh, we have mentioned few codes so before that i will tell you that get async method is of a http client class to send a get request to specified uri as a asynchronous operation so here i added uh, that uh, endpoint of uh, this uh, this uri that is the controller that is web api controller name to retrieve the data uh, by using get request <coughs> okay now after getting the result value from this uh, http response message uh, that is the result <coughs> uh, the condition to get the value that indicates if http response was successful right inside it then uh, <coughs> http response was successful or not right so http response message is a way of returning a message or data from your action so http response message works with http port protocol to return the data with a status or error uh, we can use http response message to return the data as well as some user friendly messages i so <coughs> so uh, i already have uh, created videos about http response messages in my previous videos of sp.net web api so if result is succeeded then we are declaring a uh, variable the read task which is read uh, the read async using the read async method right so uh, that read async method we should uh, to access this read async method we have installed that new get package manager that is system.net.http and uh, after then and you can see that uh, <coughs> we have mentioned one list collection of list of that class file which we have created and 
whatever result we have got we need to assign inside the member local variable if not result succeeded then the uh, then we have mentioned here error response here right <coughs> and after then uh, we create a view result uh, object by using model that renders a view to the response right right, right? so return view of members which we have uh, declared here <coughs> we have returned that of um, variable inside return view result okay now after then next step is we need to create of its uh, view class view file so right click on it click on add so here inside template we need to select here as a list and uh, model class we need to select here as employee view model which we already have created after then we click add and uh, after creating add <coughs> we need to expand this view folder and home folder and uh, select here get employees employees.cshtml and after selecting this you can see it is auto generated right no need to uh, type anything here so this is the model namespace is adding here i enumerable of that uh, model class file and this is the title and this is the s2 tag and there is table inside table tag there is few uh, table text header that is for first name last name gender and salary and inside for is it will loop all the items uh, using them inside the model and using this uh, <coughs> at the rate we have uh, created this display for action this display for method and we have access these properties of the model class file that is first name last name gender and salary and after then we have closed this table tag so <coughs> this is all about how to create the class file and access the class file and add the microsoft s.spnet.webapi.client client to access the http client class and its related methods that is get async uh, read async methods and uh, inside the class file uh, that is home controller class file we have added the action result method that is get employees and inside we have uh, passing the URI of web api that is a base address is up to api and this is the endpoint of this URI that is employee that is nothing but the controller of web api and this should be same as the controller of web api because inside you can see this is the when we send the request for get request the web api generate this URI and get the, all the employee details so this should be same as the employee controller so we need to mention here inside the get async that is the employee controller name and after then if then i have discussed about this course of get employee details right step by step so after then uh, make sure we need to run parallelly two applications at a time first thing is this is the web api application that is web api coding we need to run after then we got the response here right and uh, second is we need to uh, run our mvc project so if you not if you uh, did not run that web api project then our mvc project not display any result of uh, that employee details so after then uh, i need to run my mvc application So this is the default web page of home uh, slash index but as per as per our requirement we need to map to home controller and uh, action method is get employees. So guys here we can see our employee details right so in this way we can consume the web api in our mvc project so we need to compare this uh, output with our web api so this is the web api response so first response is id1 first name ram1 last name pradhan1 gender is male salary is 34000 
so in our mbc after consuming the web api we check here first name is ram1 last name is pradhan1 gender is male and salary is 34000 and we'll check the last uh, employee details so it is in web api last id is 16 first name is bill uh, sorry id is 17 first name is uh, 17 1 last name is 17 2 gender is female and salary 77000 so in our uh, mbc uh, by consuming after consuming the web api a uh, last employee details is 17 1 last name is 17 2 gender is female and this is a salary is 77000 right so in this way we can consume our web api in our mbc project so we need to check go to our presentation so what is http client so dotnet 4.4.5 includes uh, http client class to overcome the limitation of web web client so http client class sends or receives uh, data from web api which is hosted on the local IIS server. So HTTP client is present in other .NET application also uh, such as Windows Forms application, Windows Services application, etc. <coughs> so in our next slide, we'll discuss about more details of methods of HTTP client class. So this is a methods of HTTP client. So the method of HTTP client to send different HTTP requests as mentioned here. So number one is HTTP client method and it's client dot get async. So it is used to send get request. Second method is client dot post async to send get post request. And third one is client dot put async. It's used to send the put request. And fourth one is client dot delete <coughs> async it is used to send the delete request <coughs> so in this video we have implemented that this method only client dot get async and uh, it is used it, by using this we have retrieved the data of employee right <coughs> so it is used to uh, send the get request so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dotnet core c sharp sql server uh, web api devops and github so what we have learned today in this video that is creating sp.net mbc project and uh, i <coughs> created one model class file to uh, implement to uh, declare few properties which is same as the web api response entities and after then we need to add the microsoft.spnet.webapi.client library from NewGet package manager and inside home controller we have added one action result method to consume the web api and run the mvc project and web api project and call the action method on url so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day